that is the joys of dating. Welcome back to dating. Yeah. <laughs> Thank and, you. Rip that band-aid right off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ghosted. Are you ready for the truth? I am, definitely. So, guys, when we do Ghosted now, it, people are actually getting together, yes. which is awesome. But it makes the ghostings a little bit more harsh because you've actually met the person yeah. in yeah. person. Yeah. And Heather, that brings us to you. And and we we talked to you off the air. We already like you so much. And Adrian, uh, Adrian's a guy that you had been planning a first date with. Yes, we were planning this for months. Like we met back, you know, during lockdown mm -hmm. on Bumble, and like, you know, we said we wanted to wait until things were opened up mm -hmm. and safer to meet. Um, and so, as you guys know from you know, when I reached out to you, we met up like last Friday. That was our big day after months and months and months of build up and connecting and all that stuff. Um, and this is going to sound ridiculous and feel free to laugh. But the only place where we could get a res reservation um, was the Lone Star Grill. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like Lone Star. I do too. They're, yeah. You know what? Good chips. Right? Yeah. Yes. It's delicious. Good but chips. like a lot of yeah. like my friends are like, for a first date, ugh, blah. Yeah. But yeah. Listen, you take what you can yeah, get here, yeah, okay? Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Exactly. Exactly. And like we met up at the restaurant and we got there and I felt like we were like I felt like I was having dinner with an old friend. Aww. It was easy, it wasn't weird, it was great and amazing. And like, yeah, everything was just perfect. And <laughs> I have been ghosted ever since. Like oh, I texted boy. him twice. <sighs> On third date on Friday, and it's just been like radio silence. Okay, it sounds like you are now the lone star. <laughs> oh my! God. No, don't laugh at that. Do You're better than that. You I'm need so, to go. You, I'm so sorry. You can't be on the second call for no, this. We're sending you home. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, so he Heather, <laughs> <laughs> Heather, we're gonna call him and we're gonna find out why he let you go. Like this is ridiculous. So yeah. we'll get into that. We're gonna play a song. We'll be back. We'll make the call. Hi there. Uh, we are looking for Adrian. Yeah, this is Adrian. Adrian, it's Adam Wild, TJ and Jax from 99.9 Virgin Radio. Good morning. Hello. Can I help you with something? Uh, yeah, actually, we're hoping that you could help us understand why you ghosted somebody. Specifically, uh, her name is, uh, her, her name's uh, Heather. <laughs> why I ghosted Heather? Yeah. Uh, what, what is this? What Sorry. happened? Yeah, it's we, no. Uh, just how about answer the question? It's you know what. Here's the thing. We we may have something in it for you. We would just like you to answer the question. There could be something great at the end of this. All right. Well, uh, I can tell you that I don't want to date my mom. Okay, I would hope not. What does that uh, mean, though? <laughs> uh, I mean, Heather acts like a mom. She's like, you know, trying to be my mom, and I don't. Want anything you know, to do with uh -oh. that? You know, can, we, taken can we care of? Can we get detail? Stop it, TJ. <laughs> can we get nice. detailed on that though? What do you mean by that? Like you got to specify. Yeah, I mean uh, she scolded me like I was one of her oh. kids. So, like all I did was ask a question. Uh -oh. Okay, got bossy. Um, that's why you ghosted me. Like your question was super. You were supposed to listen. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ah. Mommy's here. Ah. All right. All right. So now that mommy and daddy are both on the phone, uh, Adrian, let's let's explain to Heather what happened here. What was it? Sure, why not? Let's do this. All right. So uh, Heather and I are at dinner. Um, the check comes, and I asked if they were doing any discounts for frontline workers. Okay, I've been working construction through the whole pandemic. They said no. I paid the bill. No big deal. But then Heather started telling me how the restaurants need the money more than me. And then I should tip twenty five percent for my uh, quote ridiculous question, oh. and I sat there and got yelled at and said nothing. And I mean, I was very respectful to you, Heather. And uh, I don't know. I went home and just felt the need to never talk to you again. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so like first off, I didn't yell at you, Adrian. Like I didn't raise my voice or anything. But, like, restaurants right now and, like, especially the waiters and stuff like that, they do need money more than, like, you or I. And, like, I just thought it was a really out-of-the-line question. Mom's like, pissed. Uh, yeah. It just felt really wrong. It felt weird. You know what I mean? It just, ugh, didn't like it. I, I don't get it. I feel like you're making me out to be the bad guy for asking a simple question. The thing, the thing is, I asked. They said no, and I moved on. I didn't argue or anything. I mean, and then, like, you came down on me like I stole the meal. I mean, oh, dear. I don't know. This is, this is a waste of time. I mean, 
thanks for calling or whatever, guys. Sure. But I, I'm good. Thanks, thanks, day. Adrian. We'll let you go. Yeah. Ciao, Adrian. Okay. Well, Heather. <laughs> now that you know the answer, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, meh, meh. what a letdown. Yeah. What a build up for months to have such a letdown. You know mm. what I mean? Yeah. Sounds like things were tense. Guys, guys. It never gets tense at Lone Star. <laughs> no. It's a place to relax. That's and have right. Good times. That's uh, right. Drink out of a fishbowl, probably. Uh, okay, so um, I'm afraid that we're going to get an email from Lone Star head office after this going, hey guys, we are offering a discount. Um, anyway, listen. So Heather, tasty. obviously not yeah. a fit. That is the joys of dating. Welcome back to dating. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, thank you. Rip that Band-Aid right off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know that there's great guys out there, and there's like more singles than ever ready to have like a hot, awesome summer, and you will be among them. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. That's very true, everyone on the radio. I am very hot, yeah. and I'm ready to mingle. <laughs> <laughs> right. well, a mob-like good. personality. Yeah. Yeah. Ends on a good note. Heather, thank you so much for joining us. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Such a big fan. Oh, thanks, Mommy. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs> <laughs>